This afternoon I'm going to be talking about another LP that I dug out of one of the boxes and it's this one. Very famous indeed. Everybody knows it. <clears throat> Lou Reed's Transformer from 1972. Now this was, as you know, I should know, a massive success worldwide for Lou Reed. It was his second LP, his first one didn't really uh, register, but this was his second effort, produced by David Bowie and Mick Ronson, and heavily supported as an artist, again by David Bowie. So Lou Reed was really, really supported very well indeed by David Bowie at the time in the early 70s, uh, since he um, finished with the Velvet Underground. Lou Reed obviously uh, went on to, you know, try out a solo career. First record wasn't that successful at all, as I mentioned, but this was a different case in point altogether. This did very, very well indeed. Now, I took a bit of a chance with this. I mean, I've had this thing for 40 odd years. I took a bit of a chance because all I'd heard of this was Walk on the Wild Side and possibly Perfect Day. That's all I'd heard of this. Um, so I took a little bit of a chance. I was still quite new to buying LPs and I was still experimenting with all sorts of new stuff. So I decided to get this. It was you know, reasonably popular. I knew a couple of the songs, but I'm glad I took that chance because even though it's not one I reach for often, it's still one that I really appreciate and like when I do hear it. Um, there are many good songs on here, not just two. You've got Vicious, which is an excellent song. That kicks it all off. Then obviously you've got uh, Perfect Day. Hanging Round is a brilliant song as well. I love the lyrics in Hanging Round. Absolutely superb. Then it finishes with Walk on the Wild Side. And then we have Side 2. Um, the highlights of Side 2 are Satellite of Love, Wagon Wheel, I'm So Free, which is a, another classic, classic song. Mick Ronson's guitar playing on here is understated most of the time, but when he does let rip, it sounds absolutely fantastic. It really does. So, as I say, I've had this about 40 years, whatever it is, I don't know, 35, 40 years. And I still think it's a good, good, solid effort from Lou Reed. Um, I didn't investigate any of his further stuff because to be honest with you, anything else I heard from any other record, I didn't really like that much. And there's a number of things on here that, that I don't really care for that much. Andy's chest, makeup. Um, you know, these are not ones that uh, really inspire me. But it ends, it ends brilliantly. It ends with this little sort of, um, I suppose you call it a little jazz number, really. Uh, whilst this is a rock album, but it's all sorts of different styles on here. And I, I suppose Goodnight Ladies is a kind of a kind of a little jazz lounge bar song, as it were. So how did this do as a hit? How did it do in the world? How did it do on the charts? What did the people think of it? Well, for some reason in Britain, which is where I am, good old Blighty, we put it to number 13. We bought it in quite high numbers and put it to number 13. In America, for some reason, only number 29. Which I find a little bit surprising to be honest with you. But there you go. Now this classic, um, classic sleeve here, this classic image of Lou Reed, that was taken by Mick Rock, the famous 
rock photographer at obviously a live gig. Now, Lou Reed came to see a whole load of um, contact sheets that Mick Rock had, had developed and that one he pointed out immediately that he liked it. So Mick Rock printed it in his darkroom. It was overexposed in the darkroom by accident and also for some reason slightly blurry. But again Lou Reed really liked this look and he said do that again but do it big enough so it can go on the 12 inch album cover. And so Mick Rock went in back into the darkroom and did precisely that. But of course he struggled to get that blurriness again because it was an accident. But he got there eventually and it gave us this. The classic Lou Reed Transformer image which is an iconic image. Now talking of images, on the back here we have the lady and the gentleman. Um, I presume the lady is the magnificent Thunderfires, I presume, according to the sleeve notes. Um, but this fella here, what is that? What is that? Well, it's a banana, so don't be alarmed. For some reason, for some reason, he decided to shove a banana down his jeans. Don't know why, but he did. So it's nothing else, just a banana. If you were wondering, I know some of you may have been wondering, and some of you may not. I personally wasn't, but some people might have been. So, have you heard Transformer by Lou Reed? I can't imagine you haven't, or at least heard two or three songs off it. For instance, Perfect Day. <coughs> Excuse me. Perfect Day, which is absolute classic. Wonderful song. Love the lyric on that. Superb. So you must have heard that one. Isn't that a wonderful record? I think it's a great record. I think it's so of its time, so evocative of America in the early 70s. Absolutely fantastic. And I understand why Bowie was so keen to support his friend in his career because the guy is clearly talented. I mean, this record says it all. So, that's Lou Reed, Transformer from 1972.